This video is sponsored by Aerolo. Hello from Taipei. It's our first time here, but Taipei and Taiwan have been on our bucket list for so long. We're going to be spending the next three and a half weeks circling the whole of Taiwan, starting right here in Taipei. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Steph, and my husband Pete and I travel a lot with our four-year-old son, Hayes. We are extra excited to be in Taipei because Peter Anyway, when we get to a new place, we like to hit the ground running and have a really jam-packed day at first. So this video is gonna be about how we spent our first 24 hours in Taipei. We're gonna eat a ton of food, visit some different neighborhoods, and of course, in the evening at one of Taipei's famous night markets. We hope you enjoy. Let it, let it cool down a sec. We got a milk tea, we've got the yotel, we've got a rice roll. I don't know what this um, sesame cake thing was, but we saw them making it when we came in. And then Hayes, okay, if you put that in your mouth all at once, you can explode because it's too bad. Hayes requested some dumplings, and so we were going to save Shaman and Bapha later, we probably are going to have some later, but we have a few right now. Do you want me to help you? Take a small bite. A bit warm. And then, look, do you want me to get the juice out? Let me dry. I love the It's a good combination. It's like, um, oh, it is that? Oh, whatever, it's really good. <laughs> we just came around the back of the restaurant and we're looking at dough being made. There's also this gentleman here was just explaining about how they're boiling and making the drink that Hazy's just been drinking, the milk, uh, what's it called? Soy <laughs> milk. It's really fascinating. The hardest part for us when we're traveling is finding things to do between meals. Uh, but there is a park nearby, so I think we're going to go have a wander in that. Yeah. One more thing about that place. It's the kind of place that kind of like looked intimidating from the outside, but it was super accommodating. It's a very well-known spot, so there were actually uh, quite a number of tourists in there. It seemed like a lot of like half Taiwanese, half foreigner couples actually. Um, but there was an English menu and they made it really straightforward and easy, so don't be put off. And all of that was just under six dollars. Get it? on Forest Park. I believe it's one of the biggest parks in Taipei. If you travel with kids, you know, it's good to pepper a day like today with lots of little breaks. And I can't think of a better place to play Uno. I don't know if it's just me, One. but I love watching Tai Chi. I think I could sit One. and watch Tai Chi for One. like 35 minutes. You should try doing it. I was going to say hours, but I couldn't. <laughs> no, I, I enjoy watching it more than actually doing it. You've never done it. Oh, is that your winner with a Tai Chi chicken dinner? Are you really enjoying? 
you're in Taipei? Yeah. You love that moment when you first get to a new city when you're just like, just constantly walking around looking at stuff. I love that feeling. The bikes, there's bikes everywhere and bike lanes and they all have little baskets and I know there's that meme on TikTok that's like, should I move here? Uh, it's definitely one of those things you walk around and you're like, should I move here to get a bike? Din Tai Fung, which I was a little bit curious if like you have to come to Din Tai Fung. If you don't know, Din Tai Fung is famous for the soup dumpling, the Shaolong Bao, that originated here in Taipei, actually, at a branch that I think is just a few blocks away, we're at a different one. And I like had it on my list, but then I was like, well, maybe we just need to eat Shaolong Bao everywhere, because honestly, I'm not a connoisseur, I always love them. Uh, but we came, and there was a 20 to 45 minute wait. Um, we waited about half an hour, so I, maybe it is on the, you have to do it. Or maybe we're all tourists in here and it's a tourist trap. I don't know. Uh, we were gonna have a beer because it's not even noon, but we saw another table having it and I love this like retro, retro beer bottle. Those guys, they're having beer. So yeah, we're having a little stop for some, some more Shaolong Bao because the ones this morning, that was Hayes' idea. That wasn't on the agenda. This was on the agenda, so you never have too many Shaolong Bao, I suppose. I know I could look this up, but it's way more fun to just ask if you can let us know in the comments. What does only 18 days mean? Is that like one is... It's like only brewed in 18 days, like it's only taken 18 days to make this beer? Or is it one is open, you only have 18 days to drink it? Or is there really only 18 days in a month? When you so I put my bag on the floor and a lady came over and brought this like basket to put my stuff in it. And then, so I put my, put my stuff in it and then she came back over and covered it up. I mean, how civilized is that? Okay, the thing that's famous about Din Tai Fung, and we've had Din Tai Fung before in Singapore. We could have had it, Hong Kong just got a Michelin star for one of theirs. Anyway, the thing that's famous about Din Tai Fung is that each dumpling has 18 folds, and it's known for the skins being super duper thin. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> Uh, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Little ones? What do they call no, no, it? Shumai? Shumai? Shamai? This was like a nostalgia order because when I taught English in Shanghai, they would give us a little breakfast in like little plastic baggies and you'd walk in, they'd hand you a plastic bag. It's different every day, but some days it was this and I loved them. Excuse me, <laughs> after this one, take a metro to, to another, another place you find. And then, and then we're gonna go to a wooden playground because mommy said, my mommy said, go to the wooden racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> Google Maps told me to come down. What? Okay, second time now that we're sitting, like, what is this? Like, what is that? Daddy, Can someone let us know? Look at that bucket of cigarettes. No, I see it. What the? This is lunch number two. I so unbelievable tender. We were around the corner from a famous beef noodle shop. It's Yong, Yong Kong beef noodles. So lunch number two. We only had 10 dumplings in total at Din Tai Fung. Anyway, apparently beef noodle soup is very, very common throughout Taiwan, but this place is known for being like extra flavorful. So we have the spicy braised noodle soup. Oh my God, you're right. I'm always conscious of like, not being that YouTuber that's like, oh my God, but you literally don't need teeth. For this beef, and also just note this this bowl is a small, just small and large. I think this one was like 140 Taiwan dollars or something. So like what four four dollars? Um, it's our second lunch, but honestly, it would probably be more than enough for two people's first lunch.
I was wrong about the price. It was 280, which is like nine dollars. Still very good. We're going to the metro now, yeah. Hey, Steph in the past here. I'm at the Chiang Mai airport. We're about to go to Taipei, but I wanted to remind you of one thing we always do before we head to a new country. And that's downloading an eSIM from Aerolo. Using Aerolo means we don't have to spend time searching for SIM cards or dealing with hefty roaming charges. Let's go to Taiwan. Touchdown, Taiwan. It's really fun to get to talk about something we use literally all the time. And Aerolo's eSIMs make it really easy to travel internationally because you can connect to local networks as soon as you get off the airplane which ensures we have data when we're out and about so we can use things like Google Maps so we can explore new cities like Taipei. Aerolo is available in over 200 countries and regions and as you saw back at the airport, it takes absolutely no time to sign up. So next time you're traveling, be sure to check them out. There's a link in our description with a discount code SNP3 that will save you $3 off your next eSIM. So thanks to Aerolo for sponsoring this portion of today's video. By the way, now we're at the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and we just took the metro for the first time. It was so easy and it's less than $1. It's 20 Taiwanese dollars per ride. Super straightforward. We felt like we should come here. We're really bad at talking about history. Uh, beautiful memorial though. Tick. <laughs> oh, we should have come in from like over there. We came in like the side gate. <laughs> Classic. Where is he? There's a statue of him in here. Why? Because he was the former president of this country. Wait, so what's the president? The president's the person in charge. Oh. Do you know who the president of the United States of America is? Who? His name's Joe. Well, did, did, did he die? No, he's still alive. But, yeah. but, but where is he? <laughs> but where is he, mommy? Timed it perfectly for the changing of the guard. Come on, let's go have a look. I had put the changing of the guards in our notes, but then had decided that that wasn't a priority for us. And uh, then, then we were at Temple, now we're going to a wooden playground. We are. Our next stop is Huashan uh, Culture Park, which we think has like a wooden playground thing. Anyway. But, it's, but it, it doesn't have any trees because they're all wooden. Can you believe that, YouTubers? If you want to catch the changing of the guard, it's every hour. Every hour. That taxi was 130 Taiwanese dollars, which is like four bucks. It was Uber. Uber works here. But that's it. Feels like a good price. First impressions of Taiwan. Taipei. First impressions of Taipei. I mean, it's funny. My expectation was that I was going to love Taipei. Like some places you don't really know, and some places you like just know you're going to love it. So far, first of all, today is like literally the perfect weather. It was like 60 when we started. I don't know what it is now. It's beautiful. It's like very chill, but not like too chill vibes. Uh, people seem friendly, the food's delicious. I think we're gonna have a good month. We're at Huashan Cultural Park now, which we came to because it looks like a really cool little area to wander, but also because we heard about the store called Waterful Life that has a like kid area with like a marble run and all these wooden toys and like they had like a zip line. It looked really cool. We've been calling it the wooden playground. They closed down this location. There is another location, but it's like 40 minutes away by train. So I think we're gonna do it maybe another day that we're here. If that happens, I'll insert a clip here. But instead we're just gonna wander around and see what else there is for kids. Because if you notice, we haven't done anything kid specific today. We don't, sometimes we don't do anything kid specific. Uh, but we're trying to toss Hayes a bone. Okay, see, I'm really impressed with how you handle that mat. This was a really cool area. If we had a little bit more time, 
would have liked to have checked it out a little bit more. A bunch of different like exhibitions and stuff going on. But we're on a mission. Boy needs a playground. We found one around the corner that looks pretty cool, so. We're civilized. Now, if you've been around a while, you might have seen me go down various slides and different playgrounds around the world. So, back by popular demand. It's Pete going down a slide. I'm actually really excited about this one. It looks a lot of fun. Okay, you ready, Hazy? <laughs> that was great. Deconstructing. Can you put that back, please? Now we're at Dean Qua Street, the oldest street in Taipei, big commercial hub in Taipei. It dates back to like the 1600s in Dutch rule. Uh, it was named Dean Qua Street in 1947 after Ulamuchi uh, in Xinjiang province of China. Pete wasted like 20 minutes of our time standing in line for this like particular mochi red bean strawberry thing that was actually, it was actually so good. This is what's happening when you see us talking and you wonder where Hayes is. How many people are gonna come and say, control your child? Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully lots of people, because that means lots of people <laughs> watching the video. <laughs> come back to our hotel for just a little bit before we head to the night market but you might have noticed that we didn't go to Taipei 101 today and that's because we didn't think we could beat the view from our hotel room. We've had the opportunity to stay at the Shangri-La here in Taipei and as expected it has been absolutely incredible. We all slept so well last night but we're going to show you our favorite part about this hotel a little bit later and then we'll have Pete's room tour at the end. part I've been most excited about, the Taiwan night market. It's, Taiwan's famous for its night markets. I'm sure we're going to be going to loads all around the country, uh, but this is a really popular one. I just read that they like originated, they would always come to big cities around temples or big intersections and it was a way for migrants to sell foods from like their hometowns and make a living. So there's foods from all over, all different origins. I don't know, I'm hungry. <laughs> We didn't realize it, but we were already in line for the Fuzhou pepper buns. I can't wait for these. I already dug in, but it was delicious. That was like quite the operation. They were filling the dough with the meat and then just like pounding it in a bunch of spring onions. They put it into those ovens. I don't know what they're called. Um, Warm and delicious. Mama, does it? So good. Anything though that is like kind of raw going in and then it cooks whilst it's like in the oven is a winner in my book. And it's also a bit cooler as well as like to cool down on So this is warming up my cockles. Hayes wasn't a big fan of the uh, Fujo pepper bun, so we're getting him a pineapple bun with butter and cheese. So I think it's another famous thing, maybe? It has nothing to do with pineapple though, right? It just looks no, like I a pineapple? No, it's just like the shape of it, right? Any thumbs up? So me. So make it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. We know we have to get sausage here because there's lots of different varieties of sausage. Not quite sure what this one is. It just says black pork sausage. But it's good, it's tasty, it's very, it's sweet. Not just food, there's also games, so we're a happy family right now. We have no idea what we're doing. I think this is a betting game. So nothing like starting them young. But personally, I prefer Uno. Can we have a Rojamo? Rojamo? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, 
amazing. Yeah. I found our next item. We love these. Does anybody win these? Uh, this is a Roja Mo, which we had these in Shanghai, but they were always in like a, a different type of bread. This one's really, really flaky. I've never had it with like green pepper. Uh, one more bite, then you can have it. It's good. I really like the flaky, uh, the flaky pastry. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so close! <laughs> He's found someone to give him a go. Oh. Are we done? I think you're done. Your eyes. Uh, okay. Sorry about the abrupt ending at the night market. Uh, we were reaching the limit of all of us. I did have one more dish. It was, it was an assortment of fried mushrooms. They were like fried on the spot again. Like, I don't know. They were really good. We definitely didn't do that place justice, but I think it was a pretty good effort at the end of a long day. Oh wait, it's not over yet. Okay, Hazy, we need you. Oh, it's still recording. Hazy, we need you. Okay, you stand in the middle. Okay, and then on the count of three, jump Jumping in like this. Okay, one, two, three. But stand, stay standing. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go swimming. Bye. My back is like really sore from picking haze up so many times today that I'm just going to sit in the jacuzzi, okay? <laughs> I mean, come on. How cool is this? <laughs> It's pretty warm, but I'm gonna go get in the hot tub. I just wanted to say, we're gonna be doing a few hotel collaborations throughout this trip in Taiwan. Um, and it's what enables us to keep traveling as much as we do. So I hope you guys don't mind seeing some of the places that we get to stay. We're very grateful and we appreciate it. It's officially 24 hours from when we started. Uh, this time, we're indulging in the hotel breakfast at the Shangri-La. I'm on round like 700. Uh, they have black sesame shortbread. Black sesame is one of my favorite things. Shortbread is one of my favorite things, but I'm so excited about hopefully a lot of black sesame desserts here in Taiwan. I think that's, that's 24 hours in Taipei. So let us know how we did. Obviously there's so much more to see. We're really excited that we're gonna be here three more days, um, but we probably won't be making another YouTube video. However, we will be posting on both Instagram and TikTok, so I will leave those somewhere here. We'd love to have you follow us there. We post more real time, so that's where we can take recommendations. to stay. Shangri-La has been lovely. Taipei has been lovely. And we're really, really excited for what the next three and a half weeks hold for us. And if you made it this far, I think there's like a room tour coming up. How did we do on our first day in Taipei? Let us know. I'm gonna show you where we've been staying. I know Steph mentioned it earlier, but I'm gonna do a really quick room tour because this is an incredible room. All right, massive living space here. Two, no, three big windows, but two with incredible views of the city, as you've seen. Really comfortable bed, extra bed for haze. Ah, come this way. The walk-in closet slash hallway and a beautiful bathroom. Huge bathtub, great toilet with features and a lovely shower. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, we have. And um, if you like the looks of us and you want to see more of us going around Taiwan, we're going to be doing it. We're here for like about three and a bit weeks going around the whole country. So follow us. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.